Hello there everyone, so welcome to another episode of this Ostrogoths campaign. Now, uh, the Bearsons, if I'm not mistaken, this was due to an action. It needs a new leadership because I think it was my faction leader, maybe it got wounded after uh, an agent attacked him. So we're gonna check that out. Steadfast Defender at least. Okay, Rebellion in Italia. A critical failure. Alright, he was wounded there. And this hero, close to murdering, fortunately the wounds will heal given time. Okay, so that's it. He didn't manage to kill him. There's a blockade on Salona. The disease spreads, that's fine. Okay, but uh, I did destroy the Langobards army here. And I conquered Aquileia. That was fairly easy. Right now, I can just, you know, increase everything. Could go with the Aryan Martyrdom, but I kind of wanted to see... Hang on a second, I don't know... Uh, it's religious, but I want the town religion and see if I can recruit priests. Yeah, I can recruit that, but I need new aristocracy. Okay, and there's a quite a high maintenance cost. However, that does seem cool. That seems seems good. Seems good. Now, foreign trespassers. Where well, the Huns? By the way, they are back. The Huns are kind of positioning themselves, as you can see, between everyone. Uh, they might go over to Constantinople. I don't know. However, here I'm going to go with the chieftain's house. I should have done that before. She's going to deploy and try to lower that unhappiness for the time being. I have a military access. That's good. Uh, Floration, demolition complete. That was good. And some units recruited. Okay. So this is what I want to show you. Uh, over here on Neapolis, everything seems to be okay. I have this as level 3, I could convert it to something for me, but honestly, what I do have is access to these good units, the Protectoris Domestici. Yeah, they have good armor PC um, protection. Comparison with these guys, they're a little bit heavier. 34 melee attack against 32, melee damage that's 40, that's 40 the same. Charge bonus 6, melee defense 48, a little bit more. More armor. Health 137, more health. They're basically an upgrade for them. Yeah. So it's kind of like Legio Comitatensis or Protectoris Domestici. It's much better than the Legio Comitatensis. And certainly much better than the Gothic Warband. Yeah, they have less health, etc. Okay, so what am I doing? Oh, okay. what am I gonna do? Fortify this and use this. Now, there's a military wharf, so I should be able to build a fleet here. Which I actually want. Let's go with the Razor Fleet with the Dignitary, why not? Yes. That's it, so I can raise good units. So this is a medium bow, this is a light melee ship with a little bit better. Good hull strength, it doesn't have missile troops. So I should have a, a couple of artillery and some light bow ships here. These guys seem to be Amazingly, the light ones seem to be better. They have less armor, but more speed, more missile damage. So that's it. Two artillery, two of those. Then I'll have some assaults, and especially a lot of Gothic marines. That's cool. That way I can wait with this guy, then he's going to control over this uh, stuff. Oh, large armature. Right here, let me take away this um, movement. It's already complete, so it's pretty much fine. This agent did some, some damage, or tried to do some damage, but he won't do too much. Verona is doing fine. This this army could attack here on Virunum, but it would be, you know, it would be a problem if he used his fleet here. Now, this guy can recruit units, because the source settlement is blockaded, but still it's 6. I don't know if I could attack him or not, but I might just send an army there. Now let me take this away and see what I can do. This army, it feels like it should stay back. Over here, it seems like we should just attack on Safaria. Let's lead with my spies to check that out. There's no one there. Where, where's the, the other spy? Do I have another spy? Let me check that out. Agents. How many, how many spies do I have? I have three, and I have three champions. Where's the other spy? Where is he? Honestly, I don't know where my other spy is. Is it right there? Oh, there we go. He's quite far away. Or no, this is his, uh, his knowledge. Where is he? 
Oh, it's wounded. Okay, got it. He's wounded. He was already in place. Right, so this guy is gonna maybe spot what's going on over here. Let me check that out, if I can actually conquer Virunum as well. Okay, that's their, that's his king, and he has only Germanic levies against a really good force here and a really good force here. That's the battle that we're gonna have. Right now, I want to spot if there's anything. I, I can't do anything on the center, actually. Impossible. This is strange. And there's nothing here on Nitroa. So I can actually attack Savari right now. Let me upgrade these guys. That's it. Let me see if I have anything to upgrade here. No. Let's move over there. And let's move these guys and attack Savari. It's ours. Easy. That's cool, let's occupy it. But I need to sack these settlements. Right, I gained some levels, which is really nice. Uh, I can gain this and this. More metal movements, that's always cool. Uh, I'm gonna have these guys right deployed here. That's cool, let's repair, repair. Repair everything, then we're gonna spot what's going on. Oh, finally the dikes. The fruit trader. And the chips and salt. I, I don't think I need this chips and salt. We're gonna check that out. I might change it for something else. But for now, it seems like everything's cool. I can defend here on something, right? And this army can just go in and... Oh, hang on a second. The Diphalic Cavalry needs to upgrade. That's nice. I have plenty of money and still winning a lot of money. We're gonna defend here on Solana. And this army is actually gonna go in on Savania. Why not? This army is going to leave there, and this army is just going to go over to Savalia. So these two armies will attack here on Virunum, the army from Aquileia, and the army from Sicia. We're going to move in right there, I guess. We're going to attack Virunum, that's going to be cool. Yeah, so that actually, that will mean the defeat of their... The Quadian army right there. I don't know what's going on with the other army that was near here, but it shouldn't attack. It shouldn't attack. Maybe that will give me some extra power. I don't know how it's going on. Uh, where can I see that? Summary. Yeah, I could use a little bit more to get to terrifying. You know, but right now I have only 10 armies. I wish I had some extra armies very soon. I wish I had some extra armies very soon. So far, I'm glad that these guys haven't attacked me. I have this army. It needs to go in, defend against this Rome army, and then go and defend Midian uh, That's the problem. It is rebelling, of course. Now, this army, let's go in and attack Midian army. That's the battle for today. Oh, come on. That's not a battle. That's a slaughter right there. I can use uh, just my archers and even my... Even my spearman will do more damage than what he has over here. But I would love to show you that the conquest of those dudes. I don't know. This feels like a good one for an auto resolve, even though if it's nah, it's it's legitimate levy. Come on. Let's kill them all. That's the end of his king. Did I lose any units? No, you were good. You did well. You did well. Let's occupy this. Right, so his general has fallen. Ready this guy is going to move here a little bit closer. And let's repair, 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 and repair. Warriors and you, sir, you're going to increase your level. Can I add a new companion? Hostile agent success and wound recovery time. I like that. And he do have two skills, so he's going to be a legend. Ah. Nice, nice, nice. It gives a lot of authority. That's cool. Alright, so how am I in terms of objectives? Hang on a second, I do have an active mission here. Nah. Um, I'm almost, I need 25, actually. I already have control of Pannonia, I already have researched the technologies. So I'm really close, I need only 5 settlements more. 5 settlements. That will be actually this battle, this whole conquest. So conquering Nithrawa, conquering Kasujis, conquering Ivaro. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's it. That will be, you know, conquering everything else. That is cool. Alright, let's end up the turn right now. Oh, there's an unassigned skill here. You're a governor, so you should have some construction costs diminished. 
and you can go into here and here so that you can go over to the legend one. That's it. Okay, you got that one. Thessalonica has minus 16. I would really need Corinthus to go in and give me something extra. I have the smokehouse, I have the meat hall, which is giving a lot of public order. This is decreasing the public order. Minus 8 in squalor, amazing. You know, uh, however, in two turns I'll have those better ones. I could still get these and this and this. I don't know. Is there anything that would decrease the squalor? This gives a lot of religious influence. Yeah, I think I gotta go over here to 10,000. And I'll also have to go over here to build 25. That's 25k. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Yeah, food plus 5 from development. Yeah, that's nice. I like this recruitment capacity. Really like the replenishment, but I love this wealth from subsistence. That just gave me so much wealth. Right, so am I losing too much on other provinces? Let me check those out. So Dardania is just losing for minus four, that's not too problematic. Liguria is of course losing a little bit because of conquests. Macedonia, I didn't realize that I was using abusing the the troops. Dreatia Ethnoticon, of course it's not really good for now. And Thracia is the one that is losing the most. Actually, Thessalonica. So I'm gonna need to control everything here correctly. I would need something that wouldn't provide squalor, that would provide uh, uh, happiness. So that's gonna be the next one. And that's gonna help out everything. So Rome, I won't worry about Italia. What I'm worrying about is Genova, because this needs to grow a lot until I can get the the stuff that I need for happiness. Yeah, that's it. Let me check out on diplomacy. Should I check out on diplomacy anything? No, for now I'll just end it. Um, now that, those Quadian armies, come on, those were just levies. There is no way he would do anything. I can finish off the Elidians right there. That's, that's gonna be a cool thing. And I don't have any armies nearby. I only have that one on Salamna. I'm gonna need to sally out on that blockade for on a couple of turns. Maybe he will sally out himself. And he will all fight that fleet on the battle map. Okay, it's time for the Langbots, let's see what they do. No, of course if there would be you know interesting battles, of course I would fight them, but most of them it just seems like he's doing well. Yeah, the Langobards are all over here, even though they started... They, they're quite divided in terms of their provinces. So, if they have a domination here on the south, then my forces are really not protected on the south. That's what the Huns will do. Okay, so far it seems like he is approaching my, my places. He's starting to raid, which is never a good thing. Microbrands are approaching. Drawn, but now it's bloodied. End this feud. We offer peace today. Okay, Quadians, you didn't like me, did you? You really didn't like me. No, I'm gonna kill you, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna sue for peace. That's it. Then I'm gonna kill Elidia right on this time. So two factions dead on this turn. And then I'm gonna worry about the Huns. That's it. Because as soon as I kill both of them, maybe the Markenmons will go out. Let's My cancel that out. That's it. Come on, Quadians, do your worst. He doesn't seem to have anything there on Ithrala, so two armies will destroy that and kill the Quadians for, for good. Then he'll have, like, a fleet or anything. Let's see what he can do. Okay, I killed that one. <laughs> That's cool. I defended myself. Let's check out what he does have on Ithrala. If I manage to make them a horde, that'll be nice, because then he will only have a fleet. And he'll sue for peace. If he sues for peace, that's fine. For now, I ha do have some issues there. Hispania is approaching and they're really not uh, glad with me. So is Illyria, but they will die. They will die. Critical Fae there. Hostile agents. Natural causes. Theodes has died. Oh boy. Okay, this guy is trying to go for promotion. No, I'm not. Let's go. Do nothing. Let's go for it. It's cool for now. Let us let me check my faction. Are there any guys wavering in loyalty? No, that's nice. That's nice. That's all cool. Everyone is happy. 
pretty good. Um, the Quadians are fine. The Huns are approaching here with a couple of forces. These are all tier 3 units, or kind of tier 3 units. Yeah, these large onagers are the ones that worry me the least, honestly. Of course, his proximity means that I, I could destroy a couple of these armies right away, you know. Um, I don't want to move into Petrodava yet, because that would mean that he can take me on one turn, which I don't want. No, I want to completely wipe out the Huns first. The, not the Huns, the, the Quadians first. Right now I do have this guy right there, that's nice. I do have this guy who can actually go in and destroy the Rebellion from the road. Let's go, come on. He can't right now? Right, no problem. You're gonna go over to Florentia. That's it. Maybe Verona will get conquered, I don't know. So he does have the Thunderers here. Where's my spies? I have one spy nearby. Yeah, that's it. But he can't reach there, so I'm gonna use him on the other side. Let's check out on Yuvavon. Yuvavon doesn't have anything there. I could finish the Elidians completely on one strike. That would be nice. And I have this other agent. Can he reach there? I don't know. But he can certainly attack this Langobard. Well, he can't actually. Let me check out a little bit to the top and see what's going on. Yeah, Kasujis is empty. And Nithrawa is also empty. What is going on? Ah, there we go. That's one army. Can I reach them? I can't. But if I can reach with these two armies and he won't reinforce on Mithrawa, he will become a horde and probably sue for peace. Which I will go immediately, you know. I can actually probably make it so that these guys, Mithrawa doesn't interest me as it is part of a senior, could actually make him into a military ally or something. That would be nice. Let's go for it. Yep, conquer this one. That's, that was easy. The easiest destruction of any faction that I've seen. Let's go aggressive. Now let's see what it gives me the option to. I can subjugate this. They will become my puppet state. The Quadians will becoming my puppet state is actually a good idea. You know, I would consider that. If they become a puppet state, then I can control their armies. Well, not control their armies, but I can make sure that they won't do anything. All captives are enslaved. Yeah. Yeah, they'll become a puppet state. Let's go with that. Let's subjugate them. Right, so they suddenly are, you know, my allies completely. Let me check the policy. So, Quadians, 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 Quadians. Hi, Quadians. Hello there. So, you're gonna have to Greetings, obey friend. my. We will speak together. I do not they can reject these guys, this stuff. They are tributary straight. They're actually, certainly, they're not my military ones. Yeah. Don't know how this works. Uh, I'm gonna ask them to join a war against the Markermans. Let's see what they will do. Now that's low. Okay, so is it tributary state of yours? Alright, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. At least I got out of that war. I got out of that blockade there. And I can concentrate on the other troops. That's it. So over here, these guys won't blockade me anymore. They can't betray me or anything. And I can move over here to protect. That's it. It's actually nice. Right now, it's immediately on two. I'm going to move them to Thessalonica, so to defend this area. I could have another f force move in, but who well, Who cares? I'm going to have these... These are light bow ships, so I'm going to have plenty of them. Three. And these guys, I'm gonna have, they already have artillery crews, so let's go with light melee ships. That's it, four, thank you. This is doing well. Rome is probably gonna grow in a couple of turns. This, I could attack here, but it doesn't feel like I need to. It does feel, however, like I should attack Yuvavu, take it, and send these three armies in. Yeah, that's it, actually these four armies in. Shouldn't I? I actually have these uh, all of these armies positioned. 
So I can go and move this army here. Uh, let me see if my faction leader is already... He's no longer wounded, so I can take away the generals that are not... Where's the general that is not you know, a third star or anything? This guy is only a two star. Let me check my general. He's a Matthias. Oh, hang on a second, that's not what I want to check. A Matthias, well, he's not a good general, so let's zoom to location. I give this to command to my general, or give this one. Hermann Fried? Let me check him out. Where is he? Is he from my... Yeah, he's from mine. He's from mine. There we go. So he needs to be a general. This guy is the new one. That's the new one. This was the army with my general. So I can replace this guy. Let me check the uh, force details. No. The general details. That's him. Let's kick and replace the general with my Terrigas. Good. This guy, he's going to approach you, Vavo, right there. And we're going to capture that place. Uh, this army should be moving into that other front. Let's move them away. Okay, no need for that. Let's move them away. I can levy tr local troops. Oh, that's nice. I forgot about that uh, uh, that idea. This guy is going to move over there. This is moving over to Sopinai. Then he's going to move in over here to Marcianopolis. Just to defend. So I'll have one, two, three armies. Kind of defensive. You know, with the fourth one here, I have my spies in the best positions, and now I'm going to betray the Illyrians. The Illyrians don't have anything at all, so I think that's a good, a good idea. I can declare war on them. They have no allies. Let's accept this. No more talk. Let's go for it. Oh, and take it. The Langobards are actually not assisting it, and the Alamans are coming in for me. So that's even even better than I would wait for that. That's aggressive. Let's go with that. I could subjugate them as well. I could sack and it honestly. Okay, it was recently, so let's just occupy. Let's occupy you, Fab. You have further orders. That's it. Right now, it seems like this is only uh, the only army that he has. I don't know if I can attack it. Uh, honestly, I can't. But they won't be able to do anything. Poor boys. Now I can repair everything. I have more money than what I need to. Infantry barracks, so I can actually get good units here. Yeah, I can get the, those protectorates the mess see. That's, that's nice. can get some siege artillery there, some bondages, some Jamaica archers. That's nice. Um, right now, I could attack these Langobards. Yeah, I think so. This is just becoming a, an auto resolve fest. Look at this. Yeah, let's go for that. Now this is just becoming an auto resolve fest because it's, it's, it's so easy, you know, to move in. All right, let's see. You could attack there. You'll have those as reinforcements. This guy can't reinforce. Why not? Let's go there. You'll flee, of course. Right now, I'm having this defense. You're gonna have this. General is going to raise a little bit. More cunning or more authority? I like the authority. I like the authority and I like the integrity. But I also like infantry training. That's nice. So if having is going all well, this I could use this. More carpenter. That's it. I have plenty of plenty of money. You know, lots of money. So that's no problem. A carpenter, certainly. And I can increase this, the canals, and this, and the town. That's cool. So far, so good. I still have money, and I'm still increasing on the money. And I'm still building up everything that I need. Alright, how many settlements more do I need? Because, you know, those guys... Let me check those debt diplomacy. Those guys are already a... A horde right now. They're not a horde. What do they have? They have some place because they are not a horde. Look at that. Oh, they have zero regions. So maybe these guys cannot actually go. Greetings in the name of the state and peace oh, No, let's not go with that. Let's check out if the Markomans would go for peace treaty. I don't know what the language. Do not attempt to sweeten truth with heart. No. Speak plainly, and I will deal honestly. Flatter, and you fail. Right. Let me check the attitude of people. Too. 
towards me. They are actually getting annoyed towards me. Uh, some of them are improving, of course, because there's a lot of problems with, you know, since I'm at war with the Langobards, which is one of the most interesting, you know, armies, because they, they, they're so spread out, or the interesting factions, let's say. It's like Axum. Axum is like there, and then it's there. I don't know what's the plan is. Pathy is moving in. Oh, they're going in with the, with those. The Huns are still, you know, strength raking four. Who's strength break three? The Alamans. I would never say that. I would never go with that. Amazing. They're stronger than the. They're considering uh, considered stronger than the the Huns. Honestly, that's cool. The Eastern Roman Empire is only fifteen. All right. Hang on. Strength breaking. Hispania is five. Saxons are six. That's cool. Langobards are actually nine. The Markomans are seventeen. Of course, they don't have too many forces here. No problem. So I guess that's going to be it for today. Just a lot of auto resolves, guys, but a lot of progress. You know, I did conquer a couple of these places. Uh, this guy is now uh, one of my centerpieces. What do I need for this? 27. I need three more lenses. That's one, two, and three, pretty much. And then I'll, I'll win this. But I'll still have, in one turn, the Germanic Spielmasters, the Elite Ostrogothic Pikemen, and the Thracian Warriors. Good. I have to check out those units. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to skip a lot of turns here and try to see if I can get a couple of those units to show you, to showcase them to you. So, thank you guys and goodbye.